just transported some liveys. And we're doing everything we can to keep them alive. How are you looking, Samo? I reckon I'll just filter out a little bit more water out the bottom. Just capturing a few bloody uh, liveys. We haven't been able to catch any. Um, so we've transported these about 15 freaking Ks. Are they looking, Nicky boy? Too flat, this one, mate. That's alright, the car wire off. Nice little candies. So here we are, and the reason why we are where we are is over here you can see there's quite a shallow bank that comes through here. And the kingies push all the bait fish out of the deeper water and they slide them right onto the onto the edge of the shallow bank and that's where all the all the fun begins so that's why we start there and then we make our way back into the deeper water and we'll just have a decent spread on little our rods and um, the other thing we do is we cast down the current so the current's running from left to right and uh, we cast down the current so that way that drags it down out into the channel nicely so we've come down to the ringing foot entrance to do some slide baiting and uh, all I've done is, is uh, we're using slightly heavier mono I've just run it through the guides and run it off, there's no leader on it and I've tied it straight with a uni knot straight on the end of the sinker and I've got some bloody live baits which I've carried we've bought them about 15k, we've pulled over, we've refreshed the water, we've kept them alive as you saw earlier and I've got a trace here which is about two and a half meters. It's um, double crimped. It's got a nice hook size for a live bait, about a eight barrow, and it's got a nice big coast lock swivel like this here, um, which is also crimped. And the whole purpose of it is just so I hook my live bait straight through the hook like so, and then uh, I cast this out, cast the sinker out, set the sinker. And then all I do is just clip the live bait straight on the line from the rod tip. So it lets me do it. And then it just slides straight out towards the sinker and the car wire will swim around. And hopefully uh, a nice big bloody king is going to smash it. The target today is to get one... Uh, <laughs> the target today is to get one over about 20 kilos. Um, anything over that will be uh, pretty fantastic off the sand. So fingers crossed and we'll keep you posted as we go. We've got four rods out today. Chasing a um, chasing a bloody kingy, so I hope that the work we put in pays off, and we don't have any big bust offs. Okay. <laughs> Picking out the most. Uh, oh, which one looks the sexiest? Come here, buddy. Get our live bait hook, and we're just going from in front of the dorsal fin on a, on a 45 degree forward, and it's like that. So, uh, when it swims away or gets hit, there's always hook exposed. So, um, that's it, and then now we'll clip them on. Over it goes, we'll clip it on and we let it go. Bro Chad just hooked up to King. This is a shark. 
Dirty. Dirty bastard. Bronzy, eh? Yeah. Motherfucker. <laughs>